In PSL 5, Islamabad United won only three games in the entire season. They finished at the bottom of the league table. They now have the same number of wins in their first four matches this season. The two-time champs are sitting pretty at number three with a game in hand. A feature of Islamabad's batting in their matches in Karachi was how quickly they hit the ground running. They would take full advantage of the fielding restrictions in the power play. This, of course, is no different from their strategies in previous seasons, where they've loaded their top order with foreign players with a propensity to start quickly. It is here that they will feel the absence of the likes of Alex Hales, Phil Salt and Paul Sterling. They have been replaced by Colin Munro, Usman Khwaja and Brandon King. Both King and Khwaja have not been fast scorers in the power play. And while Monroe strikes closer to the level of those he is replacing, he has found batting in the UAE relatively difficult. King had an incredible CPL season in 2019, but since then his batting has fallen off a cliff. Islamabad will hope that he feels at home in the UAE, having to deal with similar pitches in the West Indies too. The introduction of Muhammad Akhlaq is a welcome one. He fits the Islamabad United mould of going for it from ball one, as the national T20 starting strike rate indicates. He has the ability to bat anywhere from 1 to 5 and is also a part-time wicketkeeper. All in all, a very useful squad option. Lewis Gregory performed very well for United in Karachi and any other team would miss the all-round balance he brought to the side. But that isn't a problem for Islamabad. They will, however, perhaps miss his dependable death hitting. Islamabad's middle order consists mostly of batsmen who are much more comfortable playing space than spin. This has already resulted in a disappointing run rate of 7.1 in the middle overs at Karachi. Islamabad will hope it doesn't fall further with the shift to Abu Dhabi. One strategy they could attempt is using Umar Amin in a spin hitter role at number 4 or 5. Moving on to the bowling department, the pace attack was on a roll in Karachi and Islamabad can expect them to continue in the same vein with most possessing impressive records in the UAE. And while the spin attack has delivered the worst numbers of the competition so far, their UAE records indicate that they will most probably bounce back. Ultimately, while Islamabad's batting will be slightly weakened in the second leg, their bat deep philosophy should bail them out most of the time. Don't be surprised if this juggernaut of a team waltzes its way to a third PSL title.